What is a fact that absolutely fascinates you? That we were all born with a brain. Traffic. I am blown away every day that it works at all. It's amazing that cars basically don't touch each other. Language. We produce some arbitrary sounds and other human beings might understand us. How does that even happen? Serial killers. I'm absolutely horrified by the things they are able to do and I think they are awful. But it fascinates me seeing what lead to their crimes and what makes them different from regular people. We don't know where eels come from. They don't have reproductive organs. We know that most burrow out of the seabed near the Bermuda Triangle. But that's all we know. New scientist. How are baby eels made? We still don't know. HTTPS. www. New Scientist com. Article. 2,081,008 How are baby eels made we still don't know. Every piece of information available on the internet could be stored in roughly 2 grams of human DNA. How absolutely huge the universe is. It's inconceivable. All substance emits light. Literally. But humans can only perceive a small portion of that spectrum. Although we do have tools to help us see other spectrums. Our bodies emit infrared and appear to be shining in that region of the spectrum. Much like heated iron appears to glow to our eyes when it is heated. Hot iron may not appear to glow at the same temperatures to something with a different spectrum. Than ours. One in six Americans have never left their home state. You can describe anything in the universe with enough, yes, no, questions. Even mathematics and physics. This is the basis behind digital information in fact. That there are more trees on Earth than there are known stars in the Milky Way galaxy. There are about 3 trillion trees on Earth and up to 400 billion stars in our galaxy. If you fold a piece of paper 103 times, its thickness will exceed the diameter of the universe. How one MB hard drive went from these giant things the size of a room to being able to fit a terabyte of information into something the size of my thumbnail in what is historically a blink of an eye. There are billions of star systems that we may eventually see but never be able to visit. The process of carcinization has occurred multiple times. Separately. Crustaceans evolving into crabs. That outside of what we can see of space through satellites. Telescopes etc. We have no idea of what exists beyond that. It's a little bit fascinating and a little bit terrifying at the same time. That whole thing about how there are more combinations in a deck of cards than there are stars in. The sky. Still can't fully wrap my head around that. It only took approximately 65.5 years to go from first powered flight until humans landed on the moon. Blue jays only look blue because of light scattering. That humans can compartmentalize their compassion. Have much more love for their pets than a human just outside of their bubble. Have like 80 billion livestock in mostly horrendous conditions and really feel nothing about it. Just maybe feel offended because I'm stating this. Evolution through natural selection. It's cheaper to be rich because you don't have to pay for the repairs and frequent replacement of high quality stuff. The colors we see are just parts of the light spectrum that are reflected back to us. That dragonflies lose their color when they die. Exclamation mark. Some Ice Age animals have been discovered by scientists to still have all of their soft tissue, hair, and organs because permafrost has kept them in such excellent condition. They also discovered a few mammoths that still contained liquid blood. And one of the scientists, as I recall, even tried some of the flesh. A mummy that was discovered in China also had all of her skin, hair organs, and other tissues still intact. 
you could even bend her limbs as if she were still alive because of how flexible her body was. They were able to perform an autopsy on her to determine the cause of death and even discovered her final meal remaining in her stomach. She was discovered more than 2,000 years after her death. I remember the flavor of the meat of the mammoth. However, I suppose severe freezer burn will cause that. Hyraxes are most closely related to elephants. Actually, your eye's blood vessels cast a shadow by preventing light from reaching certain regions. You don't actually see this network of black lines that resembles a spiderweb because your brain filters it out and essentially fills in the blanks. However, you can see them by gradually moving a light that is being shone into your eye at an angle rather than directly into it. This indicates that your brain didn't have enough time to filter it out, causing you to view the blood vessel network that resembles a spiderweb. Technical guidelines to make the actions involved more clear. Since I can perceive this effect better in a dark setting, the contrast between the black shadow and the light is greater. The light should be shone into your pupil at a 45 degree angle from the side that is directed at your nose, roughly 10 to 20 centimeters away from them. While you are looking straight ahead, if at all feasible, Use the dimmest setting on your phone light. Then gently move the light one centimeter in either direction. Keep doing this for at least a second. And you should see them. I hope this helps to clarify things a little. How to flash the light into your eyes is shown in this diagram.